Okay, beautiful. Good morning and welcome, guys. As always, I'm your host, Dane Panamast. It is Pounds for Breakfast, guys, and today is the day. Now, I've spent a bunch of time this morning as last night. We've essentially rebuilt the whole studio, right, to make sure everything is working beautiful, crisp and clean. I uh, ended up replacing a bunch of things and getting things sorted out to make sure that today we can have an uninterrupted, super powerful session in the markets. Now, listen, if you're joining us for the very first time, please just put up your hand and let us know where in the world you are joining us from. If you already are a Globex 360 uh, member of the family, you have your live account. Also, just throw your hands up. Let us know. Maybe use a different kind of emoji. Let's share that heart emoji if uh, you already have your live account and you are sorted. Now, remember, today is a pretty special day. We have Pounds for Breakfast, which is right now. We have Dollars for Lunch, which is a premium edition show at quarter past three. So if you got your live account, you'll be a part of that. And then in addition to that, we also then have uh, our pips for dinner. That's going to be a special coverage of that Federal Reserve interest rate decision. That is going to be massive. And you definitely want to be a part of that. Now, we're going to be jumping into the markets. We're going to be looking at opportunities. There's going to be opportunities left, right and center today. So you definitely want to keep your wits about you. Again, risk management is absolutely everything as we saw yesterday afternoon. So yesterday afternoon, we looked at sell opportunities on indices and we initially got a little bit of a buy indication. We popped in those buys markets, then very quickly reversed and markets went for well over 3000 pips towards the downside. And again, that's all about risk management. So when we lose, you want to lose small. I think our stop losses were sitting in about the 400 pip range. When you win, you win big. And our TPs and that market ran well over 3,000, I think 4,000 pips in total per position there. So risk management in this particular season is going to remain absolutely key and fundamental. Uh, that's definitely where we want to be paying most of our attention to. So just a quick shout out to our massive community. I can see Aslam is in the house. Darlene is in the house. Gawain, Rishi, Jason, Reese, Antisocial, Sean, Garrett, Ruan, Peter, Alvain, Tumelo, Fabian, Sean, I think I already said Aslam, absolutely, Mackenzie, uh, Lyrical Socket, uh, nice name there, Fabian, John, uh, Mark Hooper, Tyler Peterson, uh, Graham, Alvin, uh, massive welcome to every single one of you. Now, we are hoping that the show is going to be absolutely crisp and clean. You guys should be seeing me and hearing me uh, perfectly, but just obviously, as always, let me know if there are any issues, but we don't expect anything. So we are going to jump straight into the news um, as to what is going to be happening today. Now, remember that Federal Reserve interest rate decision is going to be coming out at eight o'clock tonight, right? So we're going to be starting the pips for dinner session at 730 what I think we're going to end up seeing this morning as well as in dollars for lunch is an indication of the strength and the health of the market. We're going to be starting at 7.30. I'm going to take you through a pre, uh, all the past recessions and interest rate announcements. I'm busy with a really, really amazing study. And I think I know what's going to end up happening this evening. Now, again, it's not to predict the markets, but rather to take the information and use it so that we be able to trade it. Now, this evening, we are going to be setting up some penny orders. We're going to be starting at 7.30. I'm going to set up those pending orders. You can go ahead and have a look at what I'm doing. Ask questions. Again, the Pips for Dinner is a premium edition show and we have a bit more time. We have about two hours in the market. It's going to be jam-packed. We're going to be setting up some orders to take advantage of that Federal Reserve interest rate announcement. Interest rate announcement is coming out at 8. We have the FOMC meeting and press conference coming out at 8.30. We will be streaming that live. So we'll have a feedback of what Powell's busy saying. We'll have a look at what's happening in the market. And I'm sure it's going to be a monumental evening. Now, again, what happens today will also potentially set the tone for what we could end up seeing as a reaction of that jobs report and uh, obviously just NFP on Friday. So NFP, we're also trading live. You definitely want to be a part of that. Um, but we're in for a pretty massive week. So we are going to jump in. We're going to have a look at what is happening in the world from a news perspective. And we've spoken about this in the past and maybe it's time to touch on this, but there's an article uh, currently on News24, the financial section, that basically says that the next six months is definitely get harder for all South Africans right now. I think six months um, is essentially four to six months is when we're going to really start to feel the impact of what is happening overseas, the interest rate announcements, the increases, the ripple effect we know is around about a year from what happens overseas to what happens in South Africa and other countries, that ripple effect. However, it's going to start getting worse 
in the next four to six, right? We already had five or six months of those interest rate announcements. Those pressures are going to start to trickle down on the local South African pocket. Now, again, there's never been a better time to understand, learn, get involved in the financial markets in a very serious manner, because again, you can make money in dollar, pound, euro, or yen. So you're diversifying yourself to look for those opportunities elsewhere in the markets. Uh, so again, those articles are just coming in. It's something we've already been saying for a couple months, but now economists are starting to get together and saying, hey, listen, things are getting bad. There is a conflicting article that says that inflation in South Africa has peaked, um, which is impossible, right? We're still going to see food prices, energy across the board rise as that, uh, you know, we have those increased issues and headwinds from international currency conversion. South African Rand is doing extremely weak. So all imports are going to have a massive knock on effect on the South African Rand. Now, moving into US news and US data, very, very strange that we're not getting much word on that Federal Reserve interest rate discussion, right? Markets are keeping dead quiet, talking about Airbnb after hours, um, talking about a whole bunch of things, but not much is busy speaking about what could end up happening if that Federal Reserve does that interest rate announcement. There is some articles, but they're hidden. They're not top line and center. And again, the markets are going to be wrecked this evening with that federal interest rate announcement. Now, I do believe that markets believe that this might be the last one. Then we'll start it tapering down. But again, I will show you the data this afternoon, this evening, and we'll get into it and we'll bite into it with a lot more detail. Now, having a look at the pound sterling, right? Uh, pound sterling essentially uh, talking about you know, the pound to euro rate, Bank of England is saying that, you know, they're going to head towards that 1.1, 1 1.17 1 uh, mark. So in essence, Bank of England expects that the pound should start gaining value on the euro. Now, again, as we said yesterday, the pound and the euro are great value propositions. So the pound and the yen, uh, the pound of the euro against the dollar, I do believe we could see some gains there. And uh, that's where we want to be focusing some of our attention. Again, provided that interest rate announcement comes out tonight and it's within the expectation that I have. And then again, looking at that NFP data, right? NFP negative data would be in line with the Federal Reserve's uh, objectives. Weaker dollar, stronger euro, stronger pound, stronger indices, stronger commodities. So there's a bunch of things we can obviously anticipate for and uh, potentially look out for as we build up into those items. Now, Having a look at some of the fundamental data for today and quickly before we get into the actual events for the day, I want to just draw your attention to the uh, S&P 500 heat map. We can see some major losses from the very biggest of the companies, right? Apple down 1.75, Microsoft down 1.71. Uh, but the big items here are Google and Amazon, right? So negative 4.39, negative 5.51. Um, and if you guys remember Meta, got absolutely crushed yesterday as well with a very, very big low um, and starting to do that slight recovery. But obviously, as we know, we saw indice markets, we saw both US 30 as well as NASDAQ uh, have that major sell off yesterday afternoon. So again, that does explain why we're seeing some of those reds across the board. But as we move into some of the fundamental data for today, let's give a look as to what we could expect this afternoon. So this morning, we have a little bit of euro data that is going to be taking place. ADP, ADP non-farm employment change, right? That is going to be coming in at 215. That's going to be quite hot in the markets. And then again, we're going to obviously wait for that federal interest rate announcement that's going to be out at 8 with the FAMC press conference coming in at 830 this evening. So not much to trade from a fundamental data point. Do remember that from next week, we get that DST shift on the US market. So we'll start to see US markets, normal markets open up from three o'clock, which will bring a lot more of those fundamental data releases right into our show segment. So by the time we start our show, we both have the US market opening as well as the New York Stock Exchange happening at the same time. So that's one of my favorite seasons of the year is this November, December and January period because we had a lot of these condensed news releases and DST just works out in our favor based on where we are in the world. Now, we're going to be jumping into, as always, uh, some of our live uh, analysis and trading uh, for the day. And this is obviously where we're going to jump in and have a look at what is happening in the world, what is happening in the markets. And we have about three minutes and about 45 seconds before the London markets open this morning. But just really quickly, before we get into that, I just want to know from you guys, uh, where do you guys think we could sit from an interest rate announcement? What's your opinion on this evening? And uh, if you're joining us this evening, drop us a money bag 
uh, emoji into that comment right there because it is going to be massive. We are going to have a ton of fun in the markets as we launch into that next interest rate. Now, again, remember this interest rate will set the tone for the dollar for the remaining quarter of this year, moving into the end of January. So that's definitely going to be massive, right? Um, Colin's saying, all right, this is interesting. So Colin's saying he'll get, we, he thinks we'll get the full 100 basis points. So I have a sneaking suspicion that Colin may be right. Look, it will be unprecedented. We will see some massive moves, some huge volatility in the market, um, but it's going to be very, very interesting to see. Now, again, if you want to be a part of that, make sure that your Globex 360 live account is not only opened, and you can do that down in the link below, but funded with a bare minimum of $100, right? We will be sending out those links to you. And very, very shortly, those links will also be available to you right within your client area um, of the website. So super easy to access. You literally go into www.globex360.co.za, log into your client area. And on the left-hand side, you will start to see the shows present there based on your account size. So by default, everybody will see pounds for breakfast. If you have $100 or more, you'll see all of the premium shows. So dollar for lunch, as well as pips for dinner. Okay. Uh, yeah, so Sipo is also saying uh, that's what I think 200 basis point is highly likely. Uh, Real Nobeko is saying Fed interest rates is definitely going to hike. So the consensus at the moment is about 80% of economists do believe there's going to be a full fat 75 basis point hike with some outliers thinking we could get that massive 100, that full 1% on the base interest rate there. Uh, I can see Nobeko was in the house. Welcome, my dear brother. Okay, beautiful stuff, guys. So let's get into it. Let's see what the markets have in store for us today. And uh, I think you guys will be pleasantly surprised. Okay, so as always, we are going to jump into uh, the dollar index and we're going to have a look at what is happening um, in the market. So we're going to start off with the dollar index. We have still a little bit of time before the New York Stock Exchange opens or the London markets, apologies. And uh, we just want to have a look at what's happening. So as I said yesterday, we were looking at that dollar index pushing down for a sell. I did explain we have some price action, some support here, and it is also very likely the dollar index could rebound. We got that fundamental data that came out yesterday at four o'clock. It was positive for the dollar, and that's why we saw that dollar picking up off of uh, that area. And then we saw you know, indices fall, we saw commodities small fall across the board. So just to make you aware of where the dollar index is sitting, because obviously that is fairly important. Now, moving into our live trading segment, we will get back into analysis, but I'd like to just obviously look at, you know, setting up some opportunities for indices this morning, um, because I do see some opportunities and definitely some weakness potentially in the markets. So I'm going to be opening up US City. And what we want to simply do, and I just want to show and point out to you where US City is currently sitting. And just a quick wrap up of where we were yesterday. We obviously saw that massive uh, sell off, right? We got an initial push to the top side. It's a very temporary push to the top side um, in that market. We got a little bit of a spike. We got a candlestick. Uh, this is currently looking at a 30, 15 minute time frame. Uh, we got a slight push up in the markets. That's over there. And then resulted in that massive sell off, which we then closed up our buys and moved into a sell. That sell went for a total four and a half thousand pips. And again, this is why I say risk management is key. It's far better to be wrong immediately than try and be right and hold an account into an absolute negative or potential blowout. Now we are about to head into the London Open. And what I'm most interested in is obviously we've got this massive sell off on that positive US data, just some negative momentum on indices across the board. Um, but what I'm looking at is if we start to break and get through that buy area over there. Right, I do expect the federal interest rate to wreck and, and rock the markets, but I'm starting to anticipate that we could see some negative weakness on the dollar and some build up on commodities and indices across the board. So I'm currently looking at a 15 minute time frame. I also just want to point out that we're all aware and we're on the same page that it is also very likely, right, markets could hang sideways for quite a while today. Right. And that is just because of the fact that markets will be nervous about that Federal Reserve interest rate decision and what impact that can have on the market. So um, as as a potential opportunity, what we're looking out for this morning is, again, a buy uh, breakout on US 30 or um, uh, otherwise known as uh, Dow Jones. 
we're looking at a 32,730, right? 32,730. So I'm going to set up an alert here. I'm actually going to do a buy stop here. And what I'm literally going to do here is I'm setting up a buy stop at that area. You can go ahead and create that order manually by right clicking, trading, new order, and then selecting your order type. Before you select your order type, just please make sure that uh, when you do a pinning order, set up your volume first and then put in your levels. Because if you change your volume um, after you put in your levels, it may reset some of your levels. Now, we, the new trading platform that I have showcased a few days ago that we are still busy under construction and fixing up some bugs will be ready for us to take massive advantage. I'm not 100% sure for tonight, but absolutely positive for NFP. We will be utilizing the new platform for that. Pending orders, setting up market structure, breakout, buy orders, sell orders are just so much more efficient as well as uh, just general risk management across the board. So if you're still struggling with these kind of things, please don't worry about it for now. Obviously just exercise basic risk management, but we will be uh, making your lives a ton easier with a brand new Globex 360 uh, trading platform that is launching extremely soon. So we are getting some of that positive momentum to the top side that I was hoping to see. Um, I just want to see, obviously, if we get to that 500 period moving average on a one minute time frame on US 30. And then again, I would like to see that breakthrough to the top side. So from a stop loss perspective, I want to catch a breakout. Um, I don't want to be too greedy, um, but I also you know, don't want to have a fat, you know, massive, massive stop loss here. I just want to fix my trend line because I've just broken it. There we go. So I suspect we could have you know, market structure, something of that nature. And I just want us to be cautious of the fact that if we push back up into this region, which is now resistance, we could do a retest and continue that sell side momentum. So I would be looking for a breakthrough above resistance to clear that retest zone and then continue towards the top side. Um, in addition to that, um, from a stop loss perspective, I would be looking at a stop um, potentially around about, I would say about 300 pips or so. So that number will be three to, uh, let's see here, seven flat. I think I'm going to go for three to seven flat. And that will give me around about a 300 and 360 pip sort of type of stop loss, right? And I only want to be activated above the absolute, absolute high of this market. I also just want to pay, bring your attention to the fact that from a wick perspective, right? We have wicked out this market from a resistance level uh, multiple times. Right? And I just want you to also pay attention to the fact that we have wicked above these highs and we're consistently wicking above. So what I would do then is I would draw out this price action and I would essentially just make sure that I don't get wicked into a buy stop, um, you know, just a form of a little punch and then I get activated and then markets retrace to the downside. So US City, I'm ideally looking for an order that sits above 32,750 would be that that ideal range that I would want to get into that and then I want to have a stop loss about 350 pips towards the downside so London is not revealing any massive market direction as of now so we want to just pay attention here and just have a look at what we could then end up seeing and how NAS is obviously moving our German 30 is also moving right so NAS and German 30 very very similar market structure NASDAQ has pushed up we have a very similar market structure to what we're seeing on US 30. And uh, it's just a matter of, you know, whether we see some of that breakout momentum or we see that sell momentum. Now for this morning, we are going to be patient, right? We're not entering anything prematurely because we want to see this market evolve. And we only care about not getting in early, not getting in right. We only care about catching the direction we can potentially run with to the New York Stock Exchange open. Now, New York Stock Exchange is going to be super important. There's going to be a couple reasons for this, right? If we're doing a pips for dinner, a high volatile trading opportunity like the Federal Reserve interest rates, I always like to be in a position that the markets are running in with a stop loss in profit at that point of volatility. And there's a couple of reasons for that, right? Let's say, you know, markets start to buy and break out and correct. Right? Because if we have a look at yesterday's move, we've got a massive bear move and we don't yet have a full fat correction on this market. What do I mean by that? Let me just show you. So if we have a look at this market, we're just going to go to a one minute time frame. It'll give us the most detail. If we have a look at this bear impulse towards the downside, right? The, the deepest correction we have is a 50 fib, which, which is fine. There's no issues there. 
but a deeper correction would be the 61.878.6 so this market does need to correct and come back to a state of balance the open high the open high high low close for the day the intraday trading volume means that you know we should start to close up that gap but if that is the case i'd like to be in a buy by the time the new york stock exchange ends up happening and if we can't get a buy in this morning or a sell into the market direction i want to catch a trade for the new york stock exchange that puts me in a position whether it's a buy that my stop loss is in profit at the point of the interest rate announcement right so that if the interest rate announcement is in line with my current position that i've already got a deep order and i can just add orders in I can use the profit that's secured from the order that I have to open up new trades so that that New York Stock Exchange um, opens profits are essentially the risk that I'm going to be using on the Federal Reserve interest rate decision. So when I get to the Federal, rate, Federal interest rate decision, I'm risking nothing of my account. I'm only risking and putting in secured profits based on where my take profit, my, my stop losses ready is in profit, right? So this is all part of the exponential money multiplier strategy that I teach. This will be part of the brand new trading academy now again remember if you're a globex 360 live account client the academy will be free for every single one of you right that is mind-blowing it is unlike anything in southern africa for those of you who've been used to my academies in the past they've led the markets in terms of education this takes that to a whole new level right we're taking things to a massive massive level so if if that does confuse you for a second um, don't worry, we will be doing it together and I will take you step by step through that. But then again, just remember the Academy will cover that in significant amounts of detail um, that you can just have an absolute edge in the markets. Now, again, we are adjusting the Academy to accommodate for the new platform because the new platform takes things and possibilities, trading opportunities that we've had in the past and just brings out a thousand more opportunities uh, for us to essentially take part of and, and essentially take advantage of. Uh, Mike Lewis is saying, when will the Academy happen? So we have three segments to the Academy. We've got a getting started, which is brand new. Um, if you're brand new to trading, you're brand new to setting up your platform, setting up your FICA, depositing withdrawal, that will take you step by step, hold your hand and show you how to create an account, how to download the trading platform, how to navigate the trading platform, how to put trend lines, how to read charts, very basic stuff. We then have the next step up. We're still finalizing the name on that. Um, and that'll be the next step up. That'll be for accounts of more than $100. And that goes deep into analysis, price action, um, and some really good strategy over there. And then the final step up, which we essentially thinking of, I can't say what we're thinking of calling because I don't want to give it away and it still hasn't yet been cited, but that will be like our elite series. That'll be our private wealth black card type series. That'll be for accounts of $1,000 or more. And that's where we lay out all of these advanced trading strategies, right? For risk management, money management, cash management, um, just trading in general. Um, and that is where we're going to be providing a slightly more uh, personalized mentorship sessions where we will have groups with only accounts of over $1,000 or whatever that threshold may be. And it'll be live sessions with smaller groups of individuals where you can ask questions and, and ask and have requests to analyze as well as share your opinion in those live broadcasts. So we'll give you an ability to share your trades, your setups, your screenshots, and we will deal with those things together in a live environment. So uh, that is coming online extremely soon. We're just finalizing some naming, some CRM, uh, some essentially control details to make sure that it is seamless and effortless for you. And all you need in order to be, gain access is a live account. And based on the live account size, based in your client area you will then see access to what your account allows you to have access to so again that's one of the beautiful things we're pushing very very hard is that we're making sure that all of the things that you need is in one login one environment so you don't have to log into different apps and log into different websites and put in different credentials from this client area you can log into the web trader the brand new trading application you can do your academy you can watch your live shows you can deposit you can withdraw you can communicate you can whatsapp support um everything within one place that's the goal that's the vision and uh, I remember one of the first things I was asked in terms of you know how do we want to change the the structure of trading within Africa how do we take what is currently happening and take it to a whole new level it was one of the first things that I said as a trader is that you know I would like to just remember one login and have access to everything I don't want to log into different apps and install different applications and processes and features um yeah 
Uh, will there be real life trading drinking sessions with the elite traders? We will absolutely have get togethers. Um, so we still currently do that as well with clients in terms of trading, in terms of conferences. Uh, I'm not sure how, uh, if you're talking about drinking sessions with Coke or water or whatever, yeah, absolutely. But we do do that, right? So we are setting up some gatherings with our elite clientele uh, to have more of that personal touch, to get to know the team, to get to meet the team, to get to meet the executive team, as well as all the amazing individuals that operate at the Globex 360 headquarters, the different headquarters, um, and just to get to know the people that obviously help make every single part of this possible. So yeah, just answer those questions. Um, I hope I've answered. Uh, <laughs> yeah, guys, I'm on a diet. Yeah, okay. Coconut Red Bull, there we go. Aslam is, Aslam knows the vibes. Coconut Red Bull, uh, that's what it's all about. Um, okay, so again, we're not seeing too much market direction here. We are in a five minute um, for both NASDAQ, German 30 on the far right, uh, and then US 30 Dow Jones far left. So we're not seeing that volume come into the markets, right? Um, I think it's a good opportunity for us just to confirm what's happening on the dollar. If we see any weakness, yes or no, and the dollar looks fairly unchanged. And again, this is pretty expected or fairly expected. I did say this earlier on that, you know, again, prior to some of these big moves, the market will be shaky. What I am looking for is the market to make a decision on what the market believes these directions should be. So what I would really advise you this morning, right? If you're looking at the markets, if you want to catch those trades early, I would advise that, you know, and just my general recommendation, this is not trade advice, this is not to be seen as financial advice, this is purely for educational entertainment purposes only. But my suggestion of what I would be doing is I'm watching for the markets and where that next break is going to be. Because I think that next break would be a consensus of where the markets think that the New York State Stock Exchange volumes would go to. And they're on after. New York Stock Exchange, I believe, will give us the next direction to that Federal Reserve interest rate decision. So that is essentially what I'm waiting for this morning. I'm well aware that we could see some lower volumes this morning. Uh, EURUSD staying fairly flat. We will get into a deep analysis of the FX side of things, uh, but we're just not seeing that volume come in um, on indices markets this morning, right? We have a push up, a slight rejection on that 500 period moving average. Um, not anywhere close enough to a resistance uh, level that would be worthwhile for us to buy. We're still sitting about, you know, six, 700 pips short of breaching that resistance and we're not getting much of a rally or momentum towards that top side. I think if anything, if we fail to get that momentum to the top side, we do just need to understand that we are in a bear market, right? So we've in that pullback, we've broken outside of that little consolidation period and looking at where we are now, we just need to understand that we are technically in a bear market. So if we fail to make any highs, higher highs here, we've really made a lower high, right? Lower high and lower lows just mean a bear market structure. We may then start to look for sell opportunities um, on indice markets, and we might utilize an extremely tight market structure. That would be an example of a microstructure. And uh, again, should we start to then break markets at that 32,664 mark, that's where we will look at selling. Now, again, if you're following on a different platform or linked to a different broker, A, I don't know what's wrong with you. B, uh, thoughts and prayers with you. But C, you are going to get different pricing, right? Uh, other brokerages out there have changed the gearing on indices um, in, in essence to make, you know, 100x contract. Also, the pricing will be different um, elsewhere. So when I read out these numbers, please remember, these are Globex 360 specific numbers for indices, right? Some of the best indice markets that are tradable out there. Um, you know, I'm currently holding some Tesla buy orders and I was so blown away by the low fees and comms on, on the Tesla stock items where, you know, we've been holding it for over two, three weeks. I think it's about two weeks if I'm not mistaken, um, those buys and I'm holding large orders and my total swaps, commissions, whatever you want to call it, on those bigger orders, you know, totals $12, right? And it's already running uh, a couple thousand uh, dollars in profit, but my total commission swaps over holding these things for two, three weeks is only sitting at about $12. So just from a pricing perspective, man, it's, it's just so good to trade in an environment where, you know, the pricing is fair, the service is amazing. And for me personally, as a trader, I've always said, I don't care about spread. You know, I don't mind trading in a higher spread environment, 
provided I get the service. That's always what I've said in the past. And, you know, having a chance to really work very, very closely with the Globex 360 team, you know, it's become family. We, we're, we're pushing things uh, in the same direction. Um, you know, I can truly see and would say, even if I was completely independent from the outside, you know, I would much rather, if they gave me an option, said, you want to pay higher fees or higher spreads, um, you know, but have the most amazing service and team behind you, without a doubt, I would absolutely go for plan B, right? Uh, or option, the latter option. Okay, so just having a look quickly, and we're just going to keep an eye on this US city market, um, because again, it's really not, um, if you can see here, we've got a rising uh, triangle. So we spoke about this yesterday, right? So someone was asking yesterday, uh, okay, so rising triangle, and if you guys remember, uh, or you've been part of my academies in the, in the past, you know, rising triangle is a price action formation that basically means that, you know, uh, just from the story of price, we can see here that there's more buyers in this market than there are sellers, right? A, a buyer's job in the market is to make higher lows and to push for higher highs. A seller's job in the market is to make lower highs and lower lows. So when we see those higher lows, right, and we see a flat resistance level, it means that sellers are failing to drive the price down on this asset or commodity. I just also want to point out that because it's a one minute time frame, I don't like doing very specific price action formations on a one minute. Because again, if you guys just change your, your view here, if I have to delete that level, that could also be true, right? And then we're in a symmetrical triangle formation. But we are seeing a little bit of that buy momentum to the top side. Uh, so let's see. Right, I might take a scalp towards the top side um, just on US 30 and essentially just place it below support one, support two. And again, there's a microstructure. So I'm popping in a little little buy there. That buy is going into profit, running about 100 pips in profit. Again, nothing to nothing to call your parents and say, mom, I've made it as a trader, right? So nobody, please, nobody call your parents and say, you've made it as a trader. But I'm going to pop in there, you know, maybe a tiny trailing stop, maybe a thousand, uh, thousand points. So there, my trailing stop is at break even, and it's past entry, and we're starting to see the volume now in the markets. So again, that's the that's the beautiful thing about just being patient with the markets is the markets will give you a direction. It's just about being patient and watching and being ready and prepared. So again, a rising triangle just simply is a price action formation, meaning. Uh, that there's more buyers in this market and this market's getting a little bit weaker from a seller's perspective, right? Um, so in this particular case, a nice pop through in, in, in volume. Um, but again, it's not, again, you don't call your parents on a, on a small trade like this and say, mom, you know, uh, I'm now a full-time trader. All right, this is just small price action scalps that allow, you know, some opportunity. But what I am looking for is I'm looking for that next market direction. Right, it's not yet confirmed that markets will buy past that resistance level that I was speaking about a little bit earlier, but we would like for that to happen. And then my pinning order will pick up the markets at that higher price uh, for that buy. So a nice little pop through here, running around about 200 pips in profit. Um, I don't want to have this order shut down earlier. So we're running a thousand point stop loss. I'm gonna maybe increase that to 2000 points. And again, as you guys know, about 2,000 points is about 200 pips uh, from a stop loss perspective. So I can't tell right now which one of those trades is the uh, is my stop loss. I've obviously got a stop loss from above. Let me just see here. There, we're getting a nice bit of momentum there. So 7, 8 is my other stop loss that's up there. And this lowest stop loss is my the trade that I've put in now for that immediate buy order. Okay, so we are getting a bit of volume to the top side. Uh, but nothing again substantial maybe about uh, let's see here about 250 240 pips let's quickly give a view on what the rest of the market is doing from a nasdaq uh, as well as a german 30 perspective let's give a look here so nas seems to be wanting to retest i'm really liking the fact that german 30 has popped through that resistance level um based on you know five minutes prior to the to the london open um that's a good sign of volume there um nasdaq for me, right, if we're going to see a nice, good, solid rally here, uh, I would like to see NASDAQ break this morning's high. And there is, again, you know, a pretty significant level of resistance above us from a NAS perspective, right? So just having a look at this from a NASDAQ perspective, right, I'd like to see a pop out on that level. 
And I just want to make you aware that markets can pop through flat resistance, but can also retest that diagonal resistance, um, which once was holding it as support. It could come back, basically just give this thing a love kiss and then start to fall again. So I just want to make you aware of that from that perspective. But from this morning, you know, I'm looking at markets across the board. I've done a scan of almost all the markets, uh, Brent, Gold, USD, Zar, Euro USD, um, uh, cryptos, uh, as well as um, what else did we have a look at this morning, as well as some of the stocks. Um, at the moment, there's no clear direction on either one, right? I definitely think from a value proposition, uh, one of the better trades from a price action perspective still currently sits on Euro USD. So having a look at Euro USD, we can see that the value proposition is very, very clear. We're on a great support level here. We're below that dollar parity level. We're currently trading at one euro. We'll buy 98 cents uh, US and 93 pips. So 0 0.98, uh, let's see, 0 0.9895, right? Uh, one euro buying 98 cents and 95 pips. So from a value proposition, this certainly has the legs to run topside. As we've seen in the past, we have dipped below the support multiple times. But again, we have two supports here, right? We've got this long-term diagonal resistance uh, that is now acting as support to us. And uh, again, we also have this rising formation. We've popped through in the past. We're currently in the retest stage of that Euro USD moment. And again, should we get that Federal Reserve interest rate decision coming out, weakening the dollar? What does that mean? It means Euro USD to the sky. It means commodities to the sky. It means gold can start to rally. It can mean indices start to rally. And again, crypto is looking for that weakness in our traditional financing systems, right? Crypto is waiting. It's like a, a sleeping dog. It is waiting for that weakness on traditional centralized banking systems right so if we start to see anything negative from the federal reserve meeting we start to see backlash we start to see any of these other things we are going to see uh, some major major momentum and volume being trajectory redirected back into the whole crypto space so whether it be ethereum uh, whether it be bitcoin uh, regardless of which crypto space it will be once the one starts gaining volume we could see that volume come in across the board so um we've pretty much uh, are at the end of our time for this morning. Um, but just to point out, if you're on a buy in US City, um, you should be okay. You're running about 300 pips in profit here. We are slowing down from a momentum perspective. I just want to point that out. So, you know, I would advise at this point, or what I would do is just have my stop loss uh, in an area of profit. So my stop loss is currently sitting at about uh, 150 pips or so into profit um, on this US City position. Um, so regardless, if it pulls back, I'm out and I'm great. But I just want to point out that we are finally um, at the first point of resistance. Right, so there's that resistance level. So if we do that little kiss of resistance, that little retest, which again, I said is what we're looking out for NAS, where the NAS pops through and does that retest, um, that will determine whether we're going to see a continuation, whether we'll break through the high trading volume for today that starts off at about half past three in the morning and uh, ended off at about quarter to eight that high trading volume right there if we break that high trading volume then we are in a supply zone for a rally uh, to the top side so that's all i want to point out and, and bring to your attention just to be aware of um, again any sort of pullback can be is possible but again we're looking for those bigger moves here we want to catch those breakouts to the top side um, so we're getting a good amount of volume still coming in for us city um, so yeah it's just about making that hold um, if you guys have got a US 30, if you've got a NAS trade, if you've got a German 30 trade, please go ahead and pop me a screenshot. You can direct message me uh, on Telegram. My link and my private message handles in the description below. It should be the first link, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and right there, you can pretty much communicate with me and uh, pop me your screenshot. So US 30 still pushing through, right? Just before we close out this session together, we're getting that push through. We're getting that volume towards the top side. Uh, so us is now railing nice and proper running 400 pips 500 pips and my penny order is about to activate and then i'll immediately go on my penny order and set up a trailing stop and i'll utilize about 3,000 points on my trailing um for that trade so us 30 beautiful trade this morning uh whether you got us 30 whether you got nasdaq go ahead and pop me a screenshot into my telegram handle down in the description below uh let's see beautiful 
So Colin caught a monster buy. Beautiful Colin. Colin got it preempted slightly before the breakout, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, so Colin's got it spot on. He's drawn out his res res uh, resistance, drawn out his support. Uh, so yeah, massive well done, uh, Colin. You've got that one sorted out. Um, let's see. Yeah, so I'm saying trailing stop just got kissed. Peter, yeah, unfortunately, that's the difficulty of the trailing stop. Specifically, US City, specifically US 100. So for every thousand points, that represents a hundred pips, right? So a thousand points, a hundred pips in industry markets is is nothing, right? It's like sneezing, not even a proper sneeze. It's like just breathing in the markets for for indices. So a thousand is like you really want to cut it clean. Two thousand is two hundred pips, and that's okay. That's the average. I generally sit, you know, anywhere between three and four thousand points. Um, but on bigger swings, I'll obviously increase that to about eight thousand, ten thousand, twelve thousand depending how much we're running in profit. Um, so yeah, uh, trading stops, definitely something you want to master. And you can master that on a demo, you can master it on live. But again, I've always found with new students, nights and new clients from around the world, those who spend too much time on demo, right, counted as a disservice to their psychology from a trading perspective, right? Because they're treating it like demo money. And as soon as they put their own money in, they're failing to make those decisions. As to buy or to sell so demo absolutely you want to get familiar you want to understand what's happening in the markets absolutely but in terms of long term you know the best way to learn is have a good risk management profile and obviously try on some live accounts there um, again just remembering a hundred dollars i get this question often people come in and say you know um i want to put in a hundred dollars what could i make right again it's, it's one of the hardest questions to answer because a you know nobody can guarantee future profits right we don't claim that you can do x or y with any amount of money um that's the first thing so it's a question that cannot really have an answer the second issue is that a hundred dollars is the bare minimum right so meaning for you to make any sort of profit on a hundred dollars your risk management profile is always maxed out but right? even if you come and sit with me and we spend time together and i build you a, a guideline you know of, of perimeters that you know you could follow to to best be an advantage of the markets hundred dollars is really just going to struggle uh yeah uh Colin saying uh decided to move live or learning um say something about a demo can't repeat it in live broadcasts um but he's under the hundred dollar threshold and you're learning the most absolutely hundred dollars will test you like never been tested before right Every once in a while, I'll open a hundred dollar account and I'll try. And I can promise you, if you can grow a hundred dollar account, guys, you can grow any amount of money. But again, if you grow a hundred dollar account by just yellowing it, by popping in a trade and just hoping it grows, I don't mean like that. But if you can grow a hundred dollar account with proper risk to reward ratios, with proper risk management, then any amount of money is there's nothing out of your reach, right? Um, so if you're in for a good test, go for it. But if you want to really start to you know build something substantial and move to the next level that is why we're going to be offering different packages that cater for, for different account sizes to make sure we have that tailored and customized service for every single one of you i just looking at the messages and see calvin caught a beautiful buy there well done calvin kenzie also smashing it got that us 30 buy in the books uh, i can see quite a few different uh, telegram messages massive massive well done I think what I'm going to go ahead and do uh, for those of you who've sent me inboxes as of now. So if you send as of now, it doesn't count. But for those of you who have already sent me, uh, Colin, I do believe you you also owe uh, there's some prize that you won last week. So I'll double check that. But what I'm going to go ahead and do, if these are Globex 360 live accounts, please um, forward me. I'll reply to these messages. You can forward me MT4 number. And we're going to, going to go ahead and do a $250 credit. On your live account and that's just going to help you to push you over that threshold uh so if you've got a hundred dollars i'm going to add 250 dollars as a credit to your live account that's around about three and a half to four thousand rand and that'll go ahead and boost your trading account so you can start to get some serious volume in there uh so i will message you guys back and if i message you the words mt4 number if i just say mt4 it just means i want your mt4 number and uh the team will go ahead and credit this uh directly after the show so if I've popped your message saying just MT4, that means I'm looking for your MT4 number. We'll go ahead and get you that credit towards your live account. Okay, so in essence, guys, that's what we're looking out for this morning. Um, yeah, 
That's what it is all about. So I've messaged everybody already. So if you haven't got an MT4 number message, then just know you're a little bit late to the party there. Uh, but we are running really nicely into profit on US City. Not big, not massive, nothing to call home and tell mom that you've made it. Um, but in essence, you know, at least uh, some money in the bank for this dollars for lunch session and again for pips for dinner. So that is where I'm most excited. And I think we're going to have some of the biggest opportunities in the markets yet. So guys, listen, for every single one of you that have joined us for this morning's Pounds for Breakfast, please go ahead and do me a favor and make sure you smash that like button, right? If the show has been valuable to you and you found something out of it, remember this is a completely free service that Globex 360 has put together to make sure that you can benefit and enjoy it. And even if you've never traded before, whether you have a live account or you don't, this is something to teach you that it is possible to make money in the markets with the right education, with the mind mentorship, the mind guidance. And that is what it's all about. So when you guys go ahead and you like the broadcast, it tells YouTube and the algorithm that this is something that they can suggest to somebody else. So go ahead and smash that like button. If you haven't yet already, smash the subscribe button and uh, you'll never miss a brand new upload. Um, so outside of that, guys, we are going to be saying goodbye uh, very, very shortly. But before you do that, I just want to go ahead and encourage you. There are so many people out there that have been waiting for an opportunity like this, for a show, for a live broadcast, for daily content and feedback. Never even mind the academy because that's going to be a whole other story. But there's a lot of people out there that have been tried to trade, have not had the right structures, have not had the right guidance, have not had the right tools, education systems. And that is what the show is all about is prepping you, giving you the tools, giving you the information, giving you the knowledge so that when the opportunities arise, you can capitalize on these opportunities and grow your understanding, grow your knowledge within the markets to get to a point where you not only have the confidence, but you can execute on these opportunities. What we're about to see in the next six months, the next year is unprecedented, right? A move like what we're about to see, the state of what the market's going to be, the recessionary uh, periods, Unfortunately, even unemployment rates, all these other things is unlike anything we've ever seen before. The housing crisis that we saw 2007, 2008, what we're about to see will make that look like it never even happened. Okay, so there's people out there that definitely need this information, that need to diversify, that want to be in the markets, but have been taken advantage of. So, if, you know, if you feel that you know somebody, I want to encourage you, go ahead and share this live broadcast with a couple of people that you may know. Say, hey, come and look at what we do because we're extremely proud of the Globex 360 family. And again, this these broadcasts, Globex, Globex 360 Live TV as well, the Globex 360 Academy is built for you, right? It's built for you. That's the intention is that we have our own community. We have our own forum. We have our own chats. You can see in the chat, the chat's always amazing. Um, but this is for you. It's not for me. It's not for us. It's for you, for every single one of you. All right, so go ahead and share the love. We're extremely proud of our community here. We're extremely proud of every single one of you as traders. And uh, we just want to continue to see massive things from every single one of you. We'll continue to bring our part. We'll continue to bring the heat. So just a massive thank you to every one of you. A massive thank you to every single individual that is a part of the Globex 360 family. All the staff at the main office, all the staff in the different locations supporting us remotely, making sure deposits, withdrawals, speaker verification all happens extremely smoothly. Just a massive thank you to the whole Globex 360 family. As always, remember to live and trade the Globex 360 way, I will see those of you who have your live accounts, dollars for lunch, you either see an email or you'll see the link in your client's area when you log in. And that's through www.globex360.co.za. Link is in the description down below. If you don't have your live account, get it funded, get it sorted so we can be spending time together. The staff news, dollars for lunch is going to be power. Pips for dinner is going to be massive. We're going to be speaking about Pips for dinner for the next two, three weeks. If you want to be a part of that, get your live account sorted speak with uh, sales and uh, find out how you can get your account funded and uh, i'll see you guys there i saw that guys as always much love and i will see you guys a little bit later be safe trade safe and until a little bit later goodbye